Right, as you can see, I have got myself a brand spanking new Cove 450 Rally. Rather than subject you to the waffle that I was recording at the time of filming this, I thought I would just run you through my plans for it a bit more succinctly. I wanted something lightweight to take on more adventurous off-road adventures. The Africa Twin is a great bike, but it is heavy. And I'm sort of starting to learn that there probably is a limit to where I want to go on my own with that, without sort of feeling that something could go a bit awry. You will have also potentially seen that I was riding some A2 adventure bikes with Nathan Millward in Devon last week. I was kind of thinking, will I have regretted buying this Cove? Because I already had bought the Cove when I was doing the A2 adventure bike testing. Will I regret my Cove purchase? I'm very pleased to say I don't think I will do. Having ridden it now, it is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, my plan for the bike is to run it in. So just riding gently, you know, partial throttle, trying not to go over 6,000 RPM. And that's a 300 mile period. Then I'm going to do the first service and then have some fun riding it around, exploring its you know performance capabilities. So take it off-roading, measure a few, do a few tests, kind of measure some of the performance, do some 0 to 60 tests, you know, acceleration tests, things like that, and just to see how it kind of performed in the real world. And then I've got some interesting bits to put on it. First off, from a performance perspective, I have got the race ECU and the titanium exhaust, which I think deletes the cap from the system. So I'm going to put that on after a while and then redo all those tests to see what kind of real world performance gains that gives us. Um, so you can decide for yourself if you want to do it yourself, if you get yourself the cove. Uh, then I've got a load of other bits to try and make it kind of perfect adventure bike. So I've got things like hangguards, heated grips, luggage stuff. So then I've got some of the more rally focus parts as well like off of the pro version so i've got a steering damper and bits and bobs like that so the plan is i'm going to test these things out figure out if they're good or just a bit rubbish or a real bargain or just a waste of money and then if they're good i'll pop the link to the items below the videos so you know where to find them or you know where to avoid them so yeah let's uh take a closer look at this bike Changing up. Like, across the 